Phylum, Wikipedia article audio. In biology, a phylum is a level of classification or taxonomic rank below kingdom and above class. Traditionally, in botany the term division has been used instead of phylum, although the International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi and Plants accepts the terms as equivalent. Depending on definitions, the animal kingdom Animalia or Metazoa contains approximately 33 phyla, the plant kingdom Plantae contains about 14, and the fungus kingdom Fungi contains about 8 phyla. Current research in phylogenetics is uncovering the relationships between phyla, which are contained in larger clades, like Ectososo and Embryophyta. General Description and Familiar Examples The term phylum was coined in 1866 by Ernst Haeckel from the Greek phylon, related to phylae. In Plant Taxonomy August W. Eichler classified plants into five groups named divisions, a term that remains in use today for groups of plants, algae, and fungi. The definitions of zoological phyla have changed from their origins in the six Linnean classes and the four embranchements of Georges Cuvier. Informally, Phyla can be thought of as groupings of organisms based on general specialization of body plan. At its most basic, a phylum can be defined in two ways, as a group of organisms with a certain degree of morphological or developmental similarity, or a group of organisms with a certain degree of evolutionary relatedness. Attempting to define a level of the Linnean hierarchy without referring to relatedness is unsatisfactory, but a phonetic definition is useful when addressing questions of a morphological nature such as how successful different body plans were. Definition based on genetic relation the most important objective measure in the above definitions is the certain degree that defines how different organisms need to be to be members of different phyla. The minimal requirement is that all organisms in a phylum should be clearly more closely related to one another than to any other group. Even this is problematic because the requirement depends on knowledge of organisms' relationships, as more data become available particularly from molecular studies, we are better able to determine the relationships between groups. So phyla can be merged or split if it becomes apparent that they are related to one another or are not. For example, the bearded worms were described as a new phylum in the middle of the 20th century, but molecular work almost half a century later found them to be a group of annelids, so the phyla were merged. On the other hand, the highly parasitic phylum Mesozoa was divided into two phyla when it was discovered the Orthonectida are probably Deuterostomies and the Rhombozoprotostomes. Definition based on body plan This changeability of phyla has led some biologists to call for the concept of a phylum to be abandoned in favor of cladistics a method in which groups are placed on a family tree without any formal ranking of group size. Known phyla A definition of a phylum based on body plan has been proposed by paleontologists Graham Budd and Soren Jensen. The definition was posited because extinct organisms are hardest to classify, they can be offshoots that diverged from a phylum's line before the characters that define the modern phylum were all acquired. By Bud and Jensen's definition, a phylum is defined by a set of characters shared by all its living representatives. Animal phyla This approach brings some small problems for instance, Ancestral characters common to most members of a phylum may have been lost by some members. Also, this definition is based on an arbitrary point of time, the present. However, as it is character-based, it is easy to apply to the fossil record. 
A greater problem is that it relies on a subjective decision about which groups of organisms should be considered as phyla. Plant phyla The approach is useful because it makes it easy to classify extinct organisms as stem groups to the phyla with which they bear the most resemblance, based only on the taxonomically important similarities. However, Proving that a fossil belongs to the crown group of a phylum is difficult, as it must display a character unique to a subset of the crown group. Furthermore, organisms in the stem group of a phylum can possess the body plan of the phylum without all the characteristics necessary to fall within it. This weakens the idea that each of the phyla represents a distinct body plan. A classification using this definition may be strongly affected by the chance survival of rare groups, which can make a phylum much more diverse than it would be otherwise. Representatives of many modern phyla did not appear until long after the Cambrian. Fungal Divisions Protista phyla Bacterial phyla slash divisions Archaeal phyla slash division slash kingdoms. The kingdom plantae is defined in various ways by different biologists. All definitions include the living embryophytes, to which may be added the two green algae divisions, chlorophyta and chorophyta, to form the clade Virida plantae. The table below follows the influential Cavalier-Smith system in equating plantae with Archaeplastida, a group containing Virida plantae and the algal rhodophyta and glaucophyta divisions. The definition and classification of plants at the division level also varies from source to source, and has changed progressively in recent years. Thus some sources place horsetails in division Arthrophyta and ferns in division Pteridophyta, while others place them both in Pteridophyta, as shown below. The division Penophyta may be used for all gymnosperms, or for conifers alone as below. Since the first publication of the APG system in 1998, which proposed a classification of angiosperms up to the level of orders, Many sources have preferred to treat ranks higher than orders as informal clades. Where formal ranks have been provided, the traditional divisions listed below have been reduced to a very much lower level, e.g. subclasses. Like Lycophyta Wolf plant Hepatophyta Liver plant Coniferophyta Cone-bearing plant Phylum Microsporidia is generally included in kingdom fungi, though its exact relations remain uncertain, and it is considered a protozoan by the International Society of Protistologists. Molecular analysis of zygomycota has found it to be polyphyletic, which is considered undesirable by many biologists. Accordingly, there is a proposal to abolish the zygomycota phylum. Its members would be divided between phylum glomeromycota and four new subphyla in certi setis, entomophtheromycotina, kixelomycotina, mucoromycotina, and zoopagomycotina. Kingdom protista is included in the traditional five or six kingdom model, where it can be defined as containing all eukaryotes that are not plants, animals, or fungi, 120 protista is a polyphyletic taxon, which is less acceptable to present-day biologists than in the past. Proposals have been made to divide it among several new kingdoms, such as protozoa and chromista in the Cavalier-Smith system. Protist taxonomy has long been unstable, with different approaches and definitions resulting in many competing classification schemes. The phyla listed here are used for chromista and protozoa by the Catalogue of Life, adapted from the system used by the International Society of Protistologists. The Catalogue of Life includes Rhodophyta and Glaucophyta in Kingdom Plantae, 
but other systems consider these phyla part of protista. Currently there are 29 phyla accepted by list of prokaryotic names with standing in nomenclature. Currently there are 5 phyla accepted by list of prokaryotic names with standing in nomenclature. Notes